This is the Radio Master Boxer Express LRS Edition, and I'm going to show you how to set up your radio and flash Express LRS. To set up the radio, you can use an existing model that's already on the radio, or you can create a new one. My personal preference is to create a new one. Press the model button and scroll down to a free row, and then press on the scroll wheel and hit create model. From the two page buttons, press the top one to go to the model setup page. Now, there are a couple of things that you must do in the model setup to make sure everything works correctly. Now, I like to give my models a name, so if you like to do that too, now's your chance to go ahead and give it a name. If you are flying a quadcopter, you want to scroll down to the ADC filter and change that from global to off. Then set the internal RF to Crossfire or CRSF. If you want this model to work with every Express LRS drone, then you need to leave the receiver as double zero. Otherwise, if you're using model match on any Express LRS receiver and you want that to work specifically with this model, then just make sure receiver corresponds with the model number. Then set trainer to off. Now there's one more important page to set up your radio correctly. So we're gonna head over to the mixers page. The default channel map that comes on the boxer is AETR, and this needs to correspond to the channel map in Betaflight. Now, in most cases, you should probably leave it, but if you're special like me and use a different channel map in Betaflight, now's your chance to go ahead and change that. This next one is probably the most important out of all of the different switches in the mixes page. Channel five is also known as AUX1, and for Express LRS, this must be a two position switch where for arming and disarming, the armed position needs to be in the high mode. There are two switches and one button on the boxer that you can use. You can either use the SA switch or the SD switch or the SE shoulder button. Scroll down to channel five and then press the scroll wheel to enter that channel's configuration. Scroll down to source and press the wheel again. And now all you need to do is flick the switch that you wanna use for this particular channel. And I'm gonna use SA as that's what I've been using on my Radio Master TX16S. Once you've done that, press the return button twice to go back to the mixes page. And then all you need to do is repeat this process for each of the different channels and all the different switches. Once that's all done, press the return button to go back to the main screen. And then we wanna hit the sys button or SYS to go into the Express LRS Lua script. And at this point, it should load up if you've done everything correctly. If you need help, drop a comment below and I'll do what I can to assist. Now it's time to flash Express LRS. There are two ways to actually flash Express LRS. First is via Wi-Fi, and the second is via USB. But the thing is, I find USB, especially on the Boxer, like on my TX16S, to be a lot easier than trying to have to fandangle Wi-Fi. If this is your first Express LRS radio, you're gonna to need to go and download the Express LRS configurator. If you're gonna flash by USB, there's two USB-C ports on the Boxer. The one on the bottom is actually used for charging the battery and doesn't do any data at all. So we're gonna to need to use the one on the top. So we're gonna plug our USB-C cable in, then we're gonna select USB serials, in brackets VCP. Now head over to the Express LRS configurator and select the latest firmware version from the drop down menu, then Radio Master from device category, and then box it from the device drop down. We're going to choose Edge TX pass through as our flashing method. If you're not going to be following any of the European laws, then you want to select regulatory domain ISM 2400. Tick and enter your binding phrase. Then tick and enter your home Wi-Fi SSID and password. This is gonna make updating your boxer really easy over Wi-Fi. If you're gonna be flashing via USB, select OpenTX from the dropdown and then click build and flash. But if you are flashing via Wi-Fi, you're just gonna click the build button. Now for Wi-Fi flashes, once the build is done, a window is going to pop up. Drag the firmware.bin file from that window over to your desktop, and then head back into the Express LRS Lua script on your radio. Go down to Wi-Fi connectivity and hit enable Wi-Fi. This is going to turn the Wi-Fi hotspot on in the boxer. Then go over to your Wi-Fi network and look for Express LRS TX in the list of possible networks. And you want to click on that and enter the Wi-Fi password, which is Express LRS in lowercase. Then go into a browser window and type in 
Once we're here, we now need to flash our firmware. So we're going to hit choose file or browse and then select the firmware.bin file from the desktop that we put there earlier. And then we're going to hit update and this should flash your radio. The final step in the process is to do a test arm. Grab any quad that you have, make sure you take the props off and plug a LiPo in. All you need to do is just flick your arm switch on your boxer and hopefully everything should work. This video has been helpful for you. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, if you need more help, please leave a comment below. I'm Darren Allett. Until next time, don't forget to send it.